This video is brought to you by SRA Soldering Products. Hey everybody, it's Jimmy from the DIY and Digital, and today we are installing the Arduino-based DCC current sensing grade crossing. Welcome back everybody. Today we are going to be doing more of the implementation of all of my Arduino projects and we are going to be installing a current sensing grade crossing that is Arduino based uh, on MRR1 and we're actually doing it using this PCB board that I designed but if you need to build your own PCB board using a prototyping board I have a tutorial to build this exact thing right up here as well as in the description below very very easy project to do it just takes a little bit of soldering so let's go ahead and hop into the installation for the first time I have designed and ordered a custom PCB for one of my projects I ordered this from Osh Park out of Oregon, and you can order this PCB too that I've already designed from the link in the description below. I get no money from this, I just really really like their service. You will need these components as well. I have the part locations on the PCB clearly labeled. I placed the parts in their locations and soldered them using my all you soldering iron I got from SRA soldering products. These guys are awesome, especially on their after sales service. They're actually going to be my guest on coffee and trains this week to answer some of your modern railroad soldering questions. Once everything is soldered, I trim the excess off of the components. Next, it's time to install, which begins with drilling into the layout on the track and for the signals. I use a 7 64th inch drill bit and carefully drill right next to the track. You may want to use a slightly different size depending on your wiring. I then use my rail cutters from SRA to cut the track and isolate the rails for the sensor. I got this as part of their model railroading soldering kit and I have a link to that in the description below. The soldering kit is totally customizable so that you can get whatever you need for model railroading. Now it's time to run wire. I run a 20 gauge solid wire to the track. I then combine them into a single feeder and run them through the current sensor. I ended up using a 22 gauge wire soldered to the feeder so that it would fit around the tiny opening of the current sensor. And I ended up looping it three times. I soldered everything in place and covered the connections with heat shrink. I then secure the circuit boards to the frame with hot glue, which is an excellent insulator. I will also be using an Arduino Uno and pretty much any Arduino will work and I'll also be using the crossing flasher board that came with the signals. These signals are from Eve model and I have a link to them in the description below in an NHO scale. I wire up the Arduino sensor and flasher board. Now I actually did this full wiring as a prototype a little while back using a BD20. I will link that right up here as well as in the description below. The plus of the flasher board is connected to digital input 7. I hooked the negative side of the flasher board input to the ground pin of the Arduino. I have a 12 volt bus on my layout, so I use that to power my Arduino by connecting the VIN to the positive side of it and the ground to the negative side. You can also use a simple 12 volt 2 amp wall wart, just make sure that it is compatible with the Arduino. I use hot glue to hold all of the wires in place on the Arduino. I then connect the track feeder to the DCC bus. Make sure when you're hooking up to your DCC bus that you hook the wire onto the correct side so that you don't short circuit your layout. Now I did a whole series on building this layout that I'm attaching it to and I'll link that right up here as well as in the description below. It goes through all of the wiring of this layout if you want to check it out. 
Next, I soldered the feeders to the track. Now you have to be careful with this because it's really easy to melt ties or plastic road bed in this case since I'm using Kato Unitrack. Now it's time to tune the sensor. The first thing we're going to be doing is seeing if it picks up current changes at all. And we're doing this with the LED that was added to it versus the previous sketch and project. Now this is a big thank you to Scott Eric Cantalano who told me about doing it this way and this is a great way to tell if it's working at all. I also want to thank a couple of YouTubers who suggested some code and hardware mods to make this better. I tuned the sensor and it seems like a good trip threshold seems to be about 700 and a reminder that is between a value of 0 and 1023 so that's fairly close to the middle not quite in the middle there. Now it's time for the signals. I go ahead and feed them through the holes that I have drilled and I solder some feeders onto them to run them over to the board. You will need a small jumper between the two positives on the flasher board. I use some heat shrink to close up all of the connections and finish up the wiring. And here is the completed setup. Now for a test. As you can see, when the locomotive enters the detection zone, the crossing lights come on. Now we bring it in, stop the locomotives, and turn its light off so that it's drawing the minimum amount of current that it will. As you can see, the crossing lights stay on. Now for your rolling stock, you're gonna need metal wheels for at least one of these, and it's gonna to need to have a resistor on it, or you're gonna to need to pre-buy resistor wheel sets. Now, if you wanna make these yourself, I've done a tutorial on this. You can check that out up there, as well as in the link in the description below. That's it. That is how you install the Arduino-based current sensing grade crossing project on an existing railroad. Just takes a little bit of finagling to work around the scenery. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I want to say a big thank you to all of my patrons. They are listed right here. You can become a patron for as little as $1 a month, and you can get access to exclusive behind-the-scenes photos, like ones where I am building this. You can see a few things that I am doing as well. So that all starts at $1 a month. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, I'm Jimmy from the DIY and Digital. Stay safe, be kind, and happy railroading. Today we are installing a DCC current sensing crossing thing. Welcome back everybody. Today is like what I've said I've been doing for a while. Uh, on MRR1, we're actually going to be using it. I've modified um, the stuff. I really should write these down.